Oh, hi. Welcome to this edition of The Brew, Jersey Joe Ion, and you live once again, coast to coast, drinking beers, and this time venting about bad drivers. Question we put on social media is, what makes somebody a bad driver? What do other drivers do that really just flat out tick you off behind the wheel and give you a set of road rage? Lots of your answers right now on The Brew. Joe out there in Vegas, where he's got to drive to work all the time, and so he got to deal with drivers. Me, I get to walk to work, so not so much. So, uh, Joel, what is something that other drivers do that just really drive you nuts? Uh, the biggest one is probably lack of awareness. Like, if you're in front of people or if you're behind people, you've got to have a certain amount of awareness. And uh, a lot of drivers don't exercise uh, driving according to their surroundings. Not just the rules, but their surroundings as well. That's the A1. Mine, what totally makes a, per a person a bad driver is the fact that they don't use turn signals. For the love of God, if you're turning left or right, you're at a light. What does it take to flip that little arm up or down and turn a blinker on to let somebody else know where you're going? We're not psychic, jackass. Turn your damn blinker on. I don't know how many times I've stood here wanting to cross a busy street, and I could, but no, you're deciding to turn right. But you just don't tell anybody. Cops do it here, too. That should be like a $500 ticket every time. That would stop that instantly. That, that's, that, I, to me, that's what makes someone a bad driver. That's a, that's a really good answer. There's, there can be times where you're stuck in traffic. It's happened to me before, too. Where you're, I'm here, I'm at this driveway, i got to turn right. And I'm waiting for somebody to come this way, but they don't have their blinker on. They just turn right, and I just waited the whole time. And then someone right behind them goes fast. So the whole time, you just waited and you missed your chance because they didn't use their blinker. Yeah, exactly. It's not that hard to do. I mean, they make it so easy for you to use one. Uh, it's... Yeah. So you're not, that's, that kind of goes into the folder of awareness, like, you're affecting other people when you do stuff like that. Exactly. Well, you guys have a whole bunch of good answers on this one. Crosses all the, pretty much every aspect of driving. So let's find out what do you think makes a bad driver. Starman says people who sit at green lights but speed up not to stop at red lights. That's a good one. Rafa Guitar, aggressive hostility towards others. Charlene, short-tempered driver. Joe says a bumper sticker that says hug a kid. That, I'm gonna, that's an inside joke. Joe was in the car with me. This was like 15 years ago when I had my worst case of road rage in the Outer Banks. This vehicle was in front of me, a big family van, hug a kid, doing like 35 miles per hour on a two-lane road. He could be doing 60 <laughs> and held up like 50 cars, and they were oblivious. They wouldn't pull over. They are just doo -doo 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 -doo. their stupid kids bounce around in the back. It well, Look, Joel, I'm getting mad right now. Look, all these years later, I'm still like, just <laughs> start talking before I get mad again. Just start talking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would have loved to see you angry. I, I just would have loved to see you, Joe. Road rage, you light up red like the Kool-Aid man. I can tell you, those F-bombs are still in orbit around the Outer Banks now to this day. Like, I was... I believe you. If I could have got out of that vehicle, <laughs> somebody... Yeah, yeah, that was bad. So please, please, don't be, be, don't be so oblivious behind the wheel. You know, if you have 50 people behind you, you're the bad driver. Okay. That's it. Getting off my soapbox. Moving on because you have more comments like Heather. She says, driving under the influence. Nicole, playing on the phone and not paying attention to their surroundings. Hey, I don't know. Out there in Vegas, I don't know if it's a rule, but here in New Jersey, if you're on your cell phone behind the wheel, that's a fine. They will pull you over and nail you. A friend of mine in Atlantic City, she was stuck at a red light. She got in her phone to check a text. Whoop, whoop. They lit her up. 80 some dollar fine right there. You, it's totally, you can't do that here. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot here too. That's a lot. I think that's almost everywhere. It's not everywhere, but distracted driving. But that could, that all of the things that people just named all kind of fall into the awareness like folder. You know what I mean? Like that. That's something else that you have to be real careful about. I could pick this camera up here right now and stick it out my window, and we could stare at the red light here. And I bet you will get somebody behind the wheel on their phone within sixty seconds. Like it's just oh, I don't doubt it. I, I don't doubt it at all. Yeah. Well, let's see what else you guys got to say. Citizen Ken says, a Boston accent. Ray, wicked awful. Bombas Yankees, being from Jersey. Kidding? Yeah, he's not really wrong there. Bronx Bombers 46. I have a whole compilation for this topic, but I'll go with driving too slow as the main one. And Ty Box with a final answer. Selfishness on the road. I think MIT showed some compelling data that if drivers worked as a unit instead of just individuals, traffic jams would cease to exist. Well, I think he's got some good logic there, but I mean, we can't even work together to like get our carts in target in a row. Like you talk about working together, the human race is not going to work together. Nah, no, not at all. It's against human nature. Yeah, it, it, it really is. And another pet peeve, if you're a driver, please don't just abandon your car in the parking lot or put it up against where I used to park. I don't know how many times here when I had my truck, people would hit it with shopping carts in target. Like it was just 
consideration. It's still like that. It's a war zone out here. It is. You gotta, I always put mine back, but there, it's, you go look at any parking lot out here, they're all over the place. Dented cars, shit's all over. There's a grocery store chain that solved that problem, Aldi's. And I don't know if you have it there. There's a grocery store. And when you get, need a cart, you have to put a quarter in to get the cart to unlatch it and take it. So when you're done, when you put the cart back in wherever the little docking thing is, whatever you want to call it, you get your quarter back. So that way, oh, I got money coming to me, so I'm not going to like leave my cart out in the middle of the parking lot. You don't see a lot of carts around the Aldi's parking lot. You still do. But I think that's a little bit of an incentive, at least, to get people to put their damn cart away. Yeah, I actually think it's a great idea. I think that should be everywhere. But I, it's it's kind of sad that people need incentive to do that. Well, we didn't want to wrap this show up on a sad note. How about a positive note by you? Click that like subscribe button down below for all the fun here on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Four big shows waiting for you each and every week. Lots of fun. And uh, hey, you never know. We might have another topic that might really tick you off and you can uh, sound off and vent too. And for the love of God, do yourself a favor. Never get a license plate that says, hug a kid. Don't do it. I'm a kid. What? Hug a kid. That's that license plate said my road rage incident was hug a kid. Oh, but, hug, hug a kid. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a horrible one. That's in Utah. I, I I forget what state it was. It was in North Carolina, but I forget what state's plate they were from. And I don't I don't don't get me started. Don't. That's it. All right. After the show, Jersey Joe and I am here saying thanks for watching. Thanks for all your great comments. Drive safely, and we'll see you next time. I hope. <laughs>